Our very last day of this trip is the snowiest day. You'd think we'd be over it by now after what, two weeks-ish in the snow? It is incredible. It's just so deep today. Yeah, I'm going to fall over for sure. I can sense it. <laughs> Being that it is very, very snowy, I know exactly where to start this video. Straight back at the Christmas market. Good morning from our very last travel day of this trip in Helsinki, Finland. We have come back to where we started the day yesterday, but instead of focusing on the Christmas market, we're focusing on Helsinki Cathedral, which is this huge building with heaps of intricate statues and detail and like huge domed roofs. It's so pretty. It was built for Tsar Nicholas I, who was Emperor of Russia, King of Poland, and the Grand Duke of Finland all at the same time. Busy, busy, busy man. Busy, busy boy. But today it is covered in snow. It's an absolute blanket here. So much so that the steps we used to get up yesterday, so now it's a toboggan slope for some kids. <laughs> that was one kid having a really good run. Everyone was screaming him on. <laughs> it looks like so much fun. We've got a pretty big day planned for our last day. We are obviously going to check out this cathedral a little bit more. The 100 year old market we want to check out and one of the things that we were meant to do very first on this trip, we want to go to like the world's coziest cafe, Cafe Regatta. I'm so sad it's our last day but I'm so excited we're going to have a good day. Yeah, we'll make the most of this 24 hours in Helsinki. <laughs> compared to some others we've seen. I really like the Christmas tree and the organ. Next stop, the 100 year old market. It snowed so much last night that the trees look heavy. Like there's so much snow that they're being weighed down. <laughs> it's a nice look, I like it. proper little snowflakes today. I love it so much, they're all so cute. Oh, it smells good. Is this like a produce market or a food yeah. hall? Wow, this is so cool. I had no idea what this looked like. It looks like Harry Potter meets. Which is the market I'm thinking of? The Budapest one, maybe? No, the one inside of the Krakow. You know, the cloth market? What is the So I knew this cafe wasn't going to be as Christmassy as the ones we did before, but it's doing a pretty good job of being Christmassy. Like it's got that nice fine touch and I think the wood makes it feel like really homey. It's more of a local market though, not so much um, food and things. That being said, there are cafes. I actually really like it here and it's in a building that's 100 years old. What can go wrong? We do have our eye out for one thing we want to eat today, which is this cheese bread is the only way I know how to say it because the Finnish name is... That. <laughs> so hopefully we can find that. Obviously very seafood heavy because we're in Helsinki and we're surrounded by sea. We're not huge seafood people, maybe we'll try it later but the cheese bread thing sounds pretty good. Yeah. It's so cool in here though, everyone has like little labels of what their shop is, <laughs> of what their shop is and it's just so nice and all the wood, the real architecture, you can tell it's like a hundred years old, like there's no modernization which I think is really cool. Yeah it's like traditional and cute and like cozy and warm. I like it. Maybe we'll get a coffee in here? That's a good idea. Pretty cozy place to have a coffee. So, <laughs> cappuccinos are on the way. I asked if they have the cheese that we're after. They don't. There is a cheese shop here, but it's closed. But apparently it's like a supermarket thing. Like it's just so regular that supermarkets have it. And if cafes would have it, it would be in this area, in, the, in like the touristy area. So we'll keep looking, but worst case scenario, supermarket. supermarket. We've gone to a cool little Scandinavian cafe right in the middle of this market hall. It was the cutest one and also the cheapest one. I think it's cost us seven euro for two cappuccinos. And they're on the way now. They look like good cappuccinos. I've confirmed how to say thank you. Kidos. Thank you. Kidos. 
Kudos. Yes. Very Thank good. You. <laughs> oh, now it should stick a bit better. Kudos. Yes. And we got a little key. It's so cool having a cafe in the middle of a marketplace. I read online as well that Finland has the highest per capita coffee consumption of anywhere in the world. I had no idea, didn't even consider that. I did read that on like a blog post, so I may not be accurate, but either way, there's lots of coffee here and it's really good. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're caffeinated and warm. We're gonna go walk through this Esplanade Park thing, which looks like it's really cool in summer. So I'm not sure how it's gonna look now while it's snowing, but it's right over here. It's not quite the same as it would be in summer, but the cafes and restaurants in this Esplanade look so much more cozy and romantic than they would in summer. I think it's better. Guess how much the cheapest starter was? Eight. 17 euro. Oh. You pay for that romance. <laughs> this is like winter wonderland. And the architecture is just so pretty in Helsinki as well. All of the buildings are huge. I don't know if you can see that, but some kids sat down with their backpacks and it left a perfect imprint. <laughs> My foot has been extra cold today, just one foot, and I've been wondering why, because yes, it's negative one with a snow warning today, but compared to like the negative six we've kind of gotten used to, it's quite warm. It turns out there's a brand new hole in my shoe that I didn't know about, so that's great fun. But luckily and sadly, this is the only day it needs to push through. It's so close. <laughs> it is like a winter one. Oh, people lost their mittens. Um, it's like a winter wonderland, there's so much snow. It's like this park has just been collecting the snow the entire winter. <laughs> I can't say it didn't go according to plan because I didn't really have a plan. <laughs> I fell on the snow. <laughs> All right. Wow, you've probably seen this place all over YouTube and Instagram. The hope is to get some sausages that apparently you can cook over a fire. Maybe a hot chocolate as well. It smells like cinnamon. decided to have our first round of hot chocolate inside with the warmth and then we're going to get a sausage to cook on the grill. <sighs> we're not going to get a sausage to cook on the grill, I'm sorry. So this cafe was like a fishing hut back in the day and then it was bought in 2002 and they made a cafe regatta and it's just been exploding for tourists and locals because it's gorgeous and the coffee's look incredible and the cinnamon smells so good and you can cook a sausage yourself there's so many reasons i'm so excited i will say this is like the most amazing hot chocolate we maybe have ever had it is amazing and we have this view of the frozen lake outside but it's so cozy it's like a grandma's home in here i love it Some reason we did dessert first, but now we have two sausages to cook on the fire. So 
the sausages are 290 euro each. I feel like that's not bad. Given that it's like an experience as well, I guess you could argue that you're having to cook your own food, but it's fun. Do you reckon this beats that really old cafe in Tallinn? I think Tallinn might win, but the whipped cream on top took this to another level. Mm. I think I'm ready. I like burnt things. And he's unwrapped himself. <laughs> I know that this isn't like the most traditional meal we could be having on our last day in Finland. I think the experience of, of it, like we're outside surrounded by snow with a fireplace cooking our own sausages and drinking a hot chocolate. That's a pretty epic way to end our whole trip, let alone just Helsinki in Finland. I love sausages and I'm too quick to give any reactions, but uh, really good, really good. Must say, it's cooked to perfection. <laughs> Such a good 24 hours in Helsinki. <laughs> I cannot believe 11 months of travel is coming to an end. We still have a huge day ahead of us tomorrow, but I feel like I'm blocking that out. To be fair, it's only coming to an end for a couple of weeks and then we're back on the road. We still haven't found that cheese that we were going for, so... One more mission to accomplish today. Found it at the supermarket, now to heat it up. So we read the packet and it can be served cold or warm. It's supposed to have jam with it, which we didn't get because on a budget. I want to try it cold before we heat it up. I get why people call it squeaky cheese because it does squeak. This should keep us going for tonight and the next time you see us, we'll be starting a two day long travel day across three continents, three countries, three different airlines on three separate tickets. Not stressful at all. Better. <laughs> <laughs>